Roswell Flight Test Crew back here at Interdrone 2016 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm hiding out backstage at the Unique booth with Jeff Fassbender. How are you doing, Jeff? Doing great, thank and you. And Trent Sigurd. How's it going? Good, good. And we're here to talk about this fresh breeze blowing in the drone industry. Why don't you guys tell us about this thing? So the Breeze is a automated self-flying camera. So what that means is um, it's very easy to use uh, when you're out adventuring and you want a drone to take with you that is compact and very easy to deploy. What's this platform for? You know, we have some great features that we'd love to talk about as far as the application side of it, which makes it very intuitive for anybody to fly and they don't have to have flying skills, it can fly itself. This is the first one where I've seen a big company like you guys try and bridge down to more of that consumer entry level. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out for you. Well, we're very excited as well because we know that there's a lot of people out there that want to share their content, not only their friends, but want to share it with the world. We have a sharing feature in the app which means you can download your photos and videos right after you take them and push them to social directly from the app. You can crop your image, you can put filters on your image and video, really opening up the ability for people to get creative with how they share their content. So the app does multiple things. One, of course, it controls the drone and it has five different flight modes in the app that go over different ways to use the drone. And in those flight modes, we actually have tutorials. So if you forget at any time what anything does, you're able to click the question mark and go back and reference what something might do. When we were designing the app, we really wanted to make it the easiest drone to fly. And the way that we are doing that is by giving just about four controls. So there's a slider for altitude, for distance, and there's a slider that I like to call uh, the background changer. And what that does is it makes the drone orbit around you to change what, um, what background you want in your image. Mm -hmm. So now what if you are a more seasoned pilot? Do you have, can you use more conventional inputs? Yeah, we have a pilot mode which gives you the standard kind of two-stick configuration um, to fly. If you are a beginner pilot, we have a reverser mode for the right stick. So uh, that means that when the camera is facing you, the oh. controls are relative. It's kind of like a smart mode. Got it, got it. Very cool. So in order for this thing to be so user-friendly for beginners, you guys must have a lot of sensors plugged into this. How does that work? On the bottom of the aircraft, there's both an infrared send and receive sensor, and we're using that to measure altitude. It's very quick and it's very accurate. Even um, more so than ultrasound, which is kind of the common solution for that. Exactly, yes. Wow. And, and there's also an optical flow camera. So when you're flying inside and you're not using GPS, the drone will do its best to hold its position, uh, and which makes it really easy to fly in. And then I'm, you've obviously got a camera in front but it looks like maybe it's a one-axis gimbal are you gonna get good video off that absolutely we have three different video modes you can shoot in 1080 which is stabilized and that's in 30 frames a second you can shoot in 720 60 frames a second but that's also stabilized and you can shoot in 4k which we're recommending for indoor and uh, calm outdoor use uh, which is unstabilized you're using digital stabilization you're not physically stabilizing the camera with a gimbal. Yeah, ah, okay. and one of the things I think that I really like about the Breeze is you can actually tilt the camera straight down, which I love the yeah. kind of uh, satellite type images yeah. and, and it opens up a lot of uh, creativity for it. Oh yeah, that's the, the Nader view straight down is one of my favorites. And I'm guessing this one the top is our GPS receiver. Exactly, yeah. We wanted this thing to be very, very stable in the air and the GPS really helps with that outdoors. Mm -hmm. When is this thing going to be available? What's it going to sell for and all that good stuff? We launched this on August 30th, so we're very happy to have launched it. It should be in uh, stores a okay. week and a half, and the retail price is going to be $499.99. Outstanding. Okay, well, guys, thanks so much. And from Interdrone 2016, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.